Is this Spalding? You wanted to see me? I expected you over an hour ago. Didn't you get my message? Uh, yeah, that's why I came. I, I came as soon as... I'm party with Philip right now. Well, I'm here. What is it you wanted? You've done a wonderful job designing the towers. Well, thanks, but I don't expect to get paid till they're finished. You are finished. Your services won't be needed anymore. Haven't we done this once before? When I fired you before, I didn't consider what it must have meant to lose a project, and, so... And you think this is going to make it all better? It's not a small sum of money. Does Philip know about this? Your contract is terminated as of this evening. That's compensation for all the work you've done so far. <laughs> That's so funny. You're going to pay me more money not to work than I was ever supposed to get for completing the project? Your designs are good. We're just bringing in another architect to execute them. I see. Just as soon as I get out of town. Get out of town, is that it? I don't care about your personal plans. What about Beth's plans? What? I'm staying on this project, and Beth is staying with me. What are you talking about? Uh, Beth told me you'd been to see her. We don't have secrets, Mrs. Spalding. Really? It seems to me like you kept quite a bit from her, like her identity, her family. She knows now. How much does she know? Everything. Everyone, including Philip. This is your worst nightmare, isn't it? I know, that's why you wanted to buy me off and send us away. So Philip wouldn't find out. You're saying you're not going to leave? Mm-hmm. I'm not going anywhere. But there is a way that we can both get what we want. I want you gone, you want to stay. I don't see how we both win. Look, this doesn't have to be a war. There is a compromise. Which is? Which is, Beth stays with me and I finish the Blakewood Towers project. That would certainly take care of you. And I'll keep Beth from Philip. Why would you do that? Because it's in both of our best interests. Do you think if given the chance, Beth would go back to Philip? No. No, but it's hard to say what he would do, isn't it? Can you really keep her away from him? I'll do my part. The rest is up to you. <sighs> You're asking me to trust you. <laughs> you don't have much choice now, do you? Because I'm not going. I haven't agreed. Oh, come on. Look, I'm letting you off easy. You know, I could take your money and still stay. And then what would you do? Tell Philip? You think I can't make your life miserable? Oh, I'm sure you can make my life miserable. But that wouldn't serve anybody. Now, look at it this way. You're going to have a beautifully designed building that both of you can be proud of. And you get what? Your reputation? We'd put your name on the project anyway. Money you just gave the back. Money more doesn't than... matter. You're willing to risk losing Beth by staying no, here? No, I'm not going to lose Beth. That's the only other thing that matters. If you to care me. so much about her, why won't you leave? Why does this building mean so much to you, Neil? Let's just say I finish what I start. I thought it was for you, didn't you? I'm sorry, it's a new set of belts for the car. No, 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 I thought if we put a nice bow on it and wrapped it all up nice, that it would seem like a present. So I'm just gonna... No, I wanted to open it. All right, you can open it if you... You got it? I wanted to get you something nice for so long. I'm just sorry it took me so long to give it to you. Oh, you're gonna look great in that. <laughs> you know, things are gonna be different here. 
The best times we've ever had. Say what he wanted? No, 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 it's all right. It's okay. <laughs> Don't worry about it. I'll catch him tomorrow at the office. Everything's gonna be fine. So, why don't you uh, try this little thing out? All right, now you keep it dry and you change the dressing every day. I'll give you some gauze and some tape. Oh, thanks. Well, I'm glad it's not broken. It sure feels like it. Yeah, but you've got a stress fracture, so you have to be careful with it. Right. Mrs. Raines, uh, I know that you probably don't like me very much, but I want to tell you that I admire you. What? Well, you've raised an extraordinary daughter in tough circumstances, and that says a lot about you. You know, you know that Beth has chosen. Yes, I know. But maybe you don't know that she's decided she wants to keep me as a friend. And I just hope you can accept that. Now tell me, how, how did you get your hand? Um, at the work site. At the waterfront? Yeah. Well, did you see the fire? What? Two blocks up this street are burning right now. Oh, I gotta get down there. Oh, I'm sure your precious building's fine. My family died in the collapse of a building. I don't care about bricks and mortar. There's people down there who need help. If there'd been more volunteers around when my family was in trouble, maybe they'd be here right now. 